my guest has had an illustrious career which has taken him from the newsroom of the Guardian newspapers to the boardroom of Punch and the National Mirror to the bedroom of power. <laughs> He's an author, renowned film critic, who now serves as the Honorable Commissioner for Information in Lagos State. Please, a round of applause as we welcome Mr. Steve Ayari there. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome, brothers. Thank you. Yeah, good, good to have you on the show today. It's my pleasure to be yeah, here. Yeah, um, it's good to have somebody in charge of communication, especially in this darling state of ours, Lagos State. Yeah. Yeah, let me start on a very communicative note. <laughs> Why are we having problems as far as communication is concerned with government? Why is government reactive instead of proactive? I, it I, is. I, like, I, think maybe we, I, I think we shouldn't uh, generalize hastily. Okay. Uh, as far as Nigeria is concerned, maybe there are only two main areas where news is happening. Maybe at the federal level and, of course, in Lagos State. Okay. There will be a few other states where, you know, bits of activities are going on. Okay. So we could pardon those who think that governments are generally reactive. Mm. I wouldn't think that happens in Lagos. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because this is the hub of the media. Okay. This is the hub of yes, the news, not yes. only for... Uh, Nigeria, but also in West Africa. Yeah, I'll I, 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 I tend to agree with you that Lagos is a bit different because we all have our watchful eyes on Lagos. Exactly, yeah? exactly. But so. on a national level too, you will agree with me mm. that government has not been proactive. I will say that, let's broaden our perspective. I think we're also a difficult bunch in Nigeria. Okay, so blame us. <laughs> blame us. Anytime it goes like this, blame us. No, I'm, right, not, I'll, I'm not. I'll leave that. I'll leave that for now. Yeah, the, um, um, the local government election in Lagos State, oh. uh, this last local government election, the turnout was very poor. That's right. Yeah. And everybody has been complaining. Okay. How do we improve voter turnout, especially for local government elections? Uh, I think sensitization yeah. and advocacy will be what we need. Okay. Uh, but those who are complaining should do the needful. One, they should register. And once they have registered, they should also exercise their civic duty. People complain on social media, on TV, in newspapers, mm -hmm. but they won't come out. And particularly for the elite, the DSTV or TSTV watching, mm -hmm. you know, bunch or crowd, who would rather follow elections, you know, on, on TV. On TV and stay home. And stay home. <laughs> I, I think it is sensitization that we need more. Uh, it will be interesting that those who actually come out are the type that you will say, how come you have this level of people, you know, uh, ruling over us? 